being broke doesn't necessarily correlate with how much you make. There have been countless instances where individuals on minimum wage have managed to grow six-figure savings accounts while supporting their families. Conversely, there are people making over $100,000 a year who still live paycheck to paycheck. And believe it or not, it's often by choice. I started with very little myself, and today, I want to share some insights that have been fundamental to my journey. We all need money to survive, and if you don't learn to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. If you want to stop drowning in debt, live the life you've always dreamed of, and help the people around you, you need to figure out how to manage your finances better. After decades of research and experience, I've identified eight key habits that are keeping people broke and poor. These are the habits that hold people back from financial success, and by understanding them, you can start making better choices with your money. Building wealth starts with the right mindset. Say this with me, I have the capability to become rich. I am committed to learning and applying sound financial principles. Each day, I am progressing towards my financial goals. If you're serious about building wealth and learning the same principles that have guided my investments for decades, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. By joining our community, you'll get valuable insights and strategies that can help you on your path to financial freedom. 1. Living beyond your means. One of the most common mistakes people make is living beyond their means. This habit is a surefire way to financial ruin. Many of us are tempted by the allure of luxurious lifestyles, expensive gadgets, and high-end fashion. While it's fine to treat yourself occasionally, consistently spending more than you earn will lead to debt and financial instability. And consider the principle of compound interest. When you save and invest your money wisely, it grows exponentially over time. Conversely, when you accumulate debt, the interest on that debt compounds against you. Living within your means allows you to save and invest, leveraging the power of compound interest to build wealth. Take a moment to reflect on your spending habits. Are there areas where you can cut back? Can you create a budget that prioritizes savings and investments? Start by tracking your expenses and identifying non-essential purchases. By making small changes, you can significantly impact your financial future. Think about a time when you made a significant purchase on credit. How long did it take you to pay it off? How much interest did you end up paying? Now imagine if that money had been invested instead. The difference is staggering. Living beyond your means often stems from the desire to keep up appearances or to enjoy immediate gratification. However, this short-term satisfaction comes at the cost of long-term financial security. Instead of using credit to fund a lifestyle you can't afford, focus on building a sustainable budget that reflects your actual income. Creating and sticking to a budget is essential. Start by listing all your monthly income and expenses. Categorize your spending into needs and wants. Needs are essentials like housing, utilities, groceries, and transportation. Wants are non-essential items like dining out, entertainment, and luxury goods. Prioritize your needs and look for ways to reduce your wants. Automating your savings can also be a game changer. Set up automatic transfers to your savings account or investment accounts as soon as you receive your paycheck. This way, you ensure that saving becomes a priority and not an afterthought. Additionally, adopting a frugal mindset can help. This doesn't mean depriving yourself but being mindful of your spending. Look for discounts, buy in bulk, and take advantage of sales. Simple practices like cooking at home instead of dining out can save significant amounts of money over time. Living beyond your means is a dangerous habit that can lead to financial hardship. By making conscious spending decisions, creating a realistic budget, and prioritizing savings and investments, you can build a strong financial foundation. Remember, the goal is not just to avoid debt, but to harness the power of compound interest to grow your wealth over time. Small, consistent efforts today can lead to substantial financial security in the future. 2. Relying solely on one source of income. Relying on a single source of income is risky. Job security is no longer guaranteed in today's dynamic economy, and depending solely on one paycheck can leave you vulnerable. Diversifying your income streams is essential for financial stability and growth. Consider ways to generate additional income. This might include investing in stocks, real estate, or starting a side business. The goal is to create multiple streams of income that can support you in times of uncertainty. Real estate has been a significant part of my investment strategy.
By owning properties, I've been able to generate rental income and benefit from property appreciation. Real estate investments can provide a steady cash flow and long-term growth. Similarly, investing in the stock market has provided me with dividends and capital gains. Stocks, when chosen wisely, can offer both income through dividends and growth through capital appreciation. Think about your skills and interests. Are there opportunities to monetize them? Whether it's freelancing, consulting, or investing, diversifying your income can provide a safety net and accelerate your wealth building journey. For instance, if you have a particular expertise or hobby, you could turn it into a profitable venture. Freelancing platforms offer numerous opportunities for skilled professionals to earn extra income. Consulting in your area of expertise can also be a lucrative way to supplement your primary income. Starting a side business is another excellent way to diversify your income. It could be something small that you grow over time, such as an online store, a blog, or a local service. The key is to find something that aligns with your interests and skills, making it more likely for you to stick with it and succeed. Investing in yourself is also crucial. Continuously improving your skills and knowledge can open up new opportunities for income generation. Take courses, attend workshops, and stay updated with industry trends to enhance your earning potential. In summary, relying solely on one source of income is a financial risk you can't afford to take. By diversifying your income streams, you not only protect yourself from economic uncertainties but also create opportunities for financial growth. Whether through investments, side businesses, or leveraging your skills, multiple income streams are the key to achieving financial stability and wealth. 3. Flashy Lifestyle Let's talk about lifestyle. Social media is full of people who appear wealthy, but many of them are not. They've taken on huge debts just to look good. Avoiding a flashy lifestyle is crucial for building genuine wealth. Take a look at me, I don't wear branded suits, I eat modestly, and I still live in the first home I bought. Despite this, my wealth has grown tremendously. Living modestly doesn't mean living poorly. It means prioritizing your financial health over the temporary satisfaction of expensive purchases. A flashy lifestyle can lead to significant financial burdens, such as credit card debt and high interest loans, which erode your financial foundation over time. By avoiding unnecessary expenses, you free up more money to save and invest. This is how you build wealth. Instead of spending on the latest gadgets or designer clothes, put that money into assets that appreciate over time, like stocks, bonds, or real estate. These investments will generate returns and grow your wealth steadily. Moreover, living modestly can lead to a more fulfilling life. When you're not constantly chasing the latest trends, you can focus on what truly matters your family, your health, and your long-term goals. Financial freedom is not about having the most luxurious lifestyle, it's about having the peace of mind that comes with knowing you're financially secure. Take a moment to assess your spending habits. Are there areas where you can cut back? Do you really need the latest smartphone? Or can you use your current one for another year? These small decisions add up over time and can significantly impact your financial future. 4. Not having a budget If you're not careful, money can slip through your fingers without you even realizing it. This is especially true if you do not have a budget. Without a budget, it's easy to spend money on items you don't need. For example, you might eat out more frequently than necessary or purchase unneeded products simply because they are on sale. Excessive purchasing is one of the quickest ways to wreck your finances. To advance financially, you must begin tracking your expenses and setting a budget. A budget helps you remain mindful of your spending patterns and make smarter financial decisions. By knowing where your money goes each month, you can identify areas where you can cut back and redirect those funds toward savings or investments. Creating a budget involves listing all your income sources and expenses. Categorize your expenses into essentials such as rent, utilities, and groceries and non-essentials like dining out, entertainment, and impulse purchases. This categorization helps you prioritize your spending and ensure that your essentials are covered before spending on non-essentials. Regularly reviewing your budget is equally important. It allows you to adjust for changes in income or expenses and ensures you stay on track with your financial goals. Utilizing budgeting tools or apps can simplify this process and provide real-time insights into your spending habits. 5. Lack of Emergency Savings It's no secret that one of the key reasons people are broke and poor is that they don't have any emergency savings. 
As I famously stated, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. Why is having emergency savings so important? Because it provides a safety net in case something goes wrong. Life is unpredictable, and anything may go wrong at any time. If you don't have emergency funds, you're far more likely to get into debt if anything unexpected happens. An emergency fund acts as a financial buffer that can keep you afloat in times of crisis, such as sudden medical expenses, car repairs, or job loss. Without this safety net, you might be forced to rely on credit cards or loans, which can quickly lead to a debt spiral. Aim to save three to six months worth of living expenses so that you can support yourself if something goes wrong. This might seem daunting, but remember to start small if necessary. Even saving $5 each week can stack up over time. The key is consistency in making saving a priority. To build your emergency fund, consider setting up a separate savings account specifically for this purpose. Automate your savings by setting up regular transfers from your checking account to your emergency fund. This way you ensure that a portion of your income is always being saved without relying on manual effort. 6. Ignoring the importance of education. Education is a powerful tool for financial success. Yet, many people underestimate its value. I'm not just talking about formal education, though that's important too. Continuous learning and self-improvement are critical to staying relevant and competitive in today's fast-paced world. Investing in your education can take many forms. It might mean pursuing a degree, attending workshops, or simply reading books on personal finance and investing. The more knowledge you acquire, the better equipped you'll be to make informed financial decisions. Consider the example of my own life. I've always been an avid reader, and I credit much of my success to the knowledge I've gained through books. Whether it's understanding market trends, learning about new investment opportunities, or developing better business strategies, continuous learning has been instrumental in my journey. 7. Making Impulse Purchases We've all been there before. You see something you want and buy it without thinking twice. This is known as an impulsive buy, and it is a significant money habit that can keep you impoverished and poor. Impulse purchases are undertaken without consideration or preparation. They are frequently needless and can rapidly pile up, draining your financial resources and derailing your budget. If you find yourself making impulse purchases regularly, it's time to take a step back and evaluate your spending patterns. These unplanned expenses often lead to financial stress and prevent you from saving and investing in your future. Here are some pointers to help you avoid making impulsive purchases. 1. Before you go shopping, create a list of what you need. This helps you stay focused and avoid buying items that you don't need. Stick to the list to prevent unnecessary spending. 2. Establish a budget for your shopping trip and commit to it. Knowing your spending limit will help you make more mindful choices and resist the temptation of impulse buys. 3. Shopping while you're in a bad mood can lead to impulse purchases as a way to seek comfort or distraction. Instead, find healthier ways to cope with negative emotions, such as exercising, reading, or talking to a friend. 4. When considering a purchase, take your time. Avoid making decisions on the spot. Give yourself at least 24 hours to think about whether you really need the item. This cooling off period can help you make more rational decisions. 8. Procrastinating on financial planning. Procrastination is a major obstacle to financial success. Many people delay planning for their financial future, thinking they have plenty of time. However, the sooner you start, the more time your investments have to grow, and the better prepared you'll be for unexpected events. Financial planning involves setting goals, creating a budget, saving, and investing. It's about taking control of your financial destiny rather than leaving it to chance. The process may seem daunting, but breaking it down into manageable steps can make it more approachable. Start by defining your financial goals. What do you want to achieve in the short term and long term? Short-term goals might include saving for a vacation or paying off credit card debt, while long-term goals could be buying a home, funding your children's education or planning for retirement. Having clear, specific goals gives you direction and motivation. Once you have clear goals, develop a plan to reach them. This includes creating a budget that allocates funds toward your goals, savings, and investments. A budget helps you track your income and expenses, ensuring that you live within your means and prioritize your financial objectives. Saving regularly is crucial. 
aim to save a portion of your income each month, even if it's a small amount. Over time, these savings will grow, especially if you invest them wisely. Investing allows your money to work for you, generating returns and building wealth over the long term. Remember, the best time to start planning was yesterday. The second best time is now. Delaying financial planning only limits your opportunities for growth and increases your risk of being unprepared for financial emergencies. By taking action today, you can secure a more stable and prosperous future. In conclusion, understanding and addressing the habits that keep you financially stagnant is crucial for achieving financial success. Warren Buffett's wisdom offers invaluable insights into the common pitfalls that prevent wealth accumulation. By avoiding living beyond your means, diversifying your income, adopting a modest lifestyle, sticking to a budget, building emergency savings, avoiding impulse purchases, and not procrastinating on financial planning, you can transform your financial future. These habits may seem simple, but their impact is profound. Start by making small, consistent changes in your financial behavior, and over time you will see significant improvements. Remember, financial freedom isn't about making drastic changes overnight, it's about steady progress and informed decisions. Take control of your financial destiny today. Reflect on these habits, implement the strategies discussed and pave the way for a more secure and prosperous future. The journey to financial freedom begins with the right mindset and the willingness to take action. As Warren Buffett said, the best investment you can make is in yourself. Start investing in your financial knowledge and habits today and watch your wealth grow.